Do you ever have thoughts that kind of go like this? Maybe you shouldn't ask God for so much. Maybe you should just be content with what you've got and be thankful and stop asking God for so many things. You know, we've probably all had parents who, when we were younger, who said things like, uh, you know, stop asking for so much. Just be thankful for what you have. And so we sort of think that our heavenly parent, our heavenly father, probably says things like that to us as well. And yet when I look at the scriptures, I really can't ever think of a time when God ever said to one of his kids, stop asking me for so much. I can't think of a time when God ever says, you know, think smaller. You know, pray for smaller things, not, not quite so much. But rather than that, what you see in the scriptures is God constantly encouraging his people to pray. Pray more. Ask for greater things. Believe him for bigger things. For example, in Psalm 81, verse 10, the scripture says, I am the Lord your God who brought you up out of Egypt. Open wide your mouth and I will fill it. When I read that scripture, I almost expect it to say, I am the Lord your God who brought you up out of Egypt, so don't ask me for anything else. Or I am the Lord who brought you out of Egypt, so be content with that. Isn't that enough for you? I expect the verse to say, I brought you up out of Egypt, so, you know, I don't expect me to do a whole lot more for you. But instead, what God is saying is, I brought you up out of Egypt. Do you remember that? Do you remember how I just decimated that land in order to show you my power and show them my power? Do you not remember how with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, I struck that land over and over again? With the blast of my nostrils, I opened the Red Sea so that you could walk across on dry land. I provided for you in the desert and I gave you a homeland uh, and, and uh, caused the tribes to be defeated before you who were stronger than you? Do you not remember that? So in light of that, pray for things that are in keeping with my power. Ask me for greater things. Open wide your mouth and I will fill it. I believe that if you would ask the Holy Spirit to guide you and, and show you what God wants you to pray for, I believe it would be for bigger things than you're asking for now. So pray for greater things.